Tonight, something we've never seen before is happening in the sea off Italy, where the Costa Concordia has sat shipwrecked for 19 months. This was the scene after the ship capsized, each tiny dot a passenger. 32 people lost their lives. Now that giant cruise ship is coming into focus again, and ABC's Lama Hassan has all the latest tonight. Spanning 952 feet long and weighing more than 100,000 tons, about the same as 10 Eiffel Towers, they began the epic challenge of lifting the mighty Costa Concordia from its watery grave. All day today, we've been watching them slowly raise this hulk of a ship, which weighs at least 100,000 tons. And we're beginning to see results. Look, you can just make out a line of rust that goes around the ship's hull, where it's been underwater. More than twice the size of the Titanic, recovering this cruise ship is an unprecedented feat. Never has a ship this big been raised. From the reef where it crashed, it must be tilted upright using massive chains before it can be tugged back to port. Workers have one chance to get this right, and the stakes are high. Leave the ship behind and it could fall apart. The fuels and chemicals on board could pollute these famously pristine waters. But if today's effort goes wrong, the vessel could break apart, also causing an environmental disaster. Almost two years ago, the cruise liner was navigating through shallow waters when it slammed into a rock, ripping open a 230-foot gash across the hull. <laughs> Within minutes, water began flooding the ship and it started tilting. Haunting images showing passengers scrambling down the vessel's side. Now they hope to recover the body of a waiter, hailed as a hero for giving out his own life jacket, and another passenger still missing. Also on board, besides the fuels, are freezers full of food, even ice cream, now badly decomposed. And the bags and personal belongings of the 4,000 passengers will be returned to their rightful owners if the colossal Costa Concordia doesn't break apart. Lama Hassan, ABC News, Giglio, Italy.